This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Salam Bombay is a film by Mira Nair that was made in 1988. The movie presents a dire and pessimistic story of a young boy and his experiences in the big city of Bombay where he struggles to survive and make money. In the film, the director intended to demonstrate the underbelly of a large urban center inhabited by and unfriendly to the multiple marginalized population groups forming a diverse environment where every individual is occupied with a single goal, survival in harsh conditions. The reviewers from New York Times referred to this movie as a film about hopelessness. However, Salam Bombay presents a rather complex story with multiple layers and many diverse characters. Consequently, the story also incorporates a variety of themes and ideas that are interesting to explore in terms of the functioning of society, the role of the city in marginalization and poverty, and human interactions in harsh and merciless conditions. Some of the major themes in Salam Bombay are the desperation to survive at all costs, the meaning of money and material goods, family relations and friendships, adaptation to harsh environments, and childhood and adulthood perceptions. At the very beginning of the story in Salam Bombay, the main character, Krishna is kicked out of home by his mother who demands that the boy earns 500 rupees to repay for his brother's bicycle that he had set on fire and destroyed. Krishna is a young pre-adolescent boy, having failed to find employment in a traveling circus, he goes to the closest large city, Bombay, looking for ways to make money. In the large urban center, the little boy is immediately sucked into the merciless underbelly where he has to survive alongside crowds of other homeless street children. Krishna encounters several characters, whose lives are far from perfect and tries to save money in the harsh environment of the city. In this film, the director succeeded at portraying what can be referred to as the other world, a set of problems and scenarios that affect a very large number of people but are rarely discussed. The director shows Bombay's poorest people and neighborhoods, drawing the audience's attention to the flaws of the city. Working as a tea server, Krishna encounters prostitutes, human traffickers, drug addicts, drug dealers, thieves, and con artists. Growing up surrounded by all kinds of hardships and dangers, street children have to adapt and adjust to the dire realities and learn to lie, trick, steal, scam, and be extremely flexible, cynical, and fearless. Dial referred to the film as docudrama, a unique work of art that presents realistic and dramatic events and scenarios to make the viewers aware of the depicted problems. Knowing that the film was made in Hindi, it is possible to suppose that its intended audience was the Indian upper class and elite who needed to be informed about the parts of the city and country they never visited. In Salam Bombay, the major characters are children and adolescents who are severely affected by the surrounding conditions. The cynical, cunning, and resilient children of poor districts of Bombay are shown to the audience from the upper classes as a juxtaposition to their traditional notion of what children and childhood are. To be more precise, the conventional image of a child dominant among upper-class groups depicts an innocent, helpless, and naive creature who is always in need of love, care, and guidance provided by parents. People have to learn some harsh lessons during their lifetime. For instance, the story of Sola Sol, a young girl sold to a brothel, portrays a character that does not fight back against her harsh environment and gives in to the rules of the place that uses her. Krishna also learns not to trust anybody numerous times, as his money gets stolen again and again not only by thieves or criminals but also by the people that he chooses to trust. In the environment of the marginalized areas, Krishna still manages to form friendships and attachments that are quickly dissolved in the flowing and unstable conditions that characterize this part of the city and the society inhabiting it. In the poor districts of Bombay, Friendships do not last for long because of money, and people learn to move on very fast and never develop close relationships. The story teaches that everything deemed important can become disposable, income, belongings, jobs, social status, friends, relationships, and people in general. 
the city itself is portrayed not as a vibrant and beautiful place to live. Here, Bombay is a center for drug sellers and buyers, a place where youth steals to survive. The view of Bombay is shot to depict this concept as the director does not shy away from capturing the dirty streets of the town. The beautiful architecture of the city is contrasted with the lives of its characters and the surroundings in which they have to exist. The bright interiors of the brothel, for example, look lavish, while the streets where Chillum searches for money to buy drugs are full of dull colors. Nair portrays a city of contradictions, where the rich live in color and the poor live in shades of gray. Thus, as one scene replaces another, the audience is exposed to these differences in the city's life. The carnival at the end of the film is incredibly colorful with red and blue being the primary tones of each frame. However, the film ends with the protagonist sitting near a gray building which shows that his life is not connected with the brightness of Bombay. In conclusion, it is important to note that the scenarios and stories depicted by Mira Nair in Salam Bombay are not unique characteristics of Indian culture and cities but are present all around the world. Large cities and rural areas of every country have marginalized districts populated by groups depowered by poverty and discrimination. These groups have little to no social protection and support and are forced to suffer in dangerous conditions and adapt to merciless environments where the only goal is to survive. The city itself is filmed from different angles to show the differences between the lives of the poor and the rich. Its brightly colored rooms and buildings are put against the gray streets filled with dirt and garbage. The story presented in Salam Bombay does not have a happy ending, instead, it places the characters on just another stage of struggle showing that poor people are most often powerless in their attempts to break out of the cursed cycle of their misfortunes. Did you like this Salam Bombay? 1988 by Mira Nair Sample? To get more works like this one, make sure to check out the database of academic paper examples at ivypanda.com. You will find thousands of samples for all your study needs.